Welcome back to a new review of PlayAndroid.com. Today I'm going to show you Contract Killer by Glue. It is a, a highly anticipated game with good graphics and I will start showing it to you right now. now first of all, you should know that you have to download around 250 megabyte on game data to play this game. This is really, really, really lo uh, a lot. So I uh, press play. As you can see, uh, I'm starting this for the first time on this tablet. Normally I play it on my HTC Incredible S. So, you know sounds? This is the intro. Inside I'll leave you to it. Too lethal to live. That's where I come in. I'm an enforcer for the IPF. Others might call me an assassin. Call me what you like. I'm a contract killer. So, this has been the introduction, and now you have been introduced to the story of the game. You are a contract killer and uh, have to kill other people. And as you can hear, there is Lara in the background uh, laughing. So, this is the graphics of the game, this is the intro, welcome to the agency, this just says, okay, hey, you are an agent, I'm from the IPF, and you have to kill this guy with the rifle. This is what I'm going to do. I'll zoom in, so I'll drag the zoom slider to zoom in and out. So as you can see, I can zoom in and zoom out. Uh, the graphics are really, really nice. And this is the man I have to kill. To kill him, I have to press steady so that I'm steady and shoot. Bam. Target is killed. Uh, the graphics are good, but there are just a few settings so you get to see them uh, a lot of times. This is not that good. Also the controls are not that good because uh, your, the control of the rifle is very very slow. Um, I would love to have a little more um, precision, uh, precision in it. Uh, so I have to buy new rounds. This is the store for new weapons. Okay, now I bought them. I'll go back and now you see the map. On this map you see your new uh, tasks to do. In this moment I have Colonel Conrad Eastbound who wants me to do a job for him. Okay, and there you see I have to kill someone. The job is uh, Self-proclaimed gatekeeper to Old Town. He's going to be meeting a contract in the restaurant, and you can't let that happen. If his enforcers become a problem, deal with it. Means I have to kill him, and if someone else is going to shoot at me, I have to kill them too. So I press OK, and the mission starts. You see the loading stream. It's loading a lot of times. Um, the sounds are pretty good. The music is OK. Um, so. Technical wise, the game is on the good side. Um, I can duck to get cover. So now I'll zoom in. So this, I would love this to be a little more responsive. And also, if I press steady, then I have to. Uh, it's not working on devices that have single touch, so you need a multi-touch enabled device. Uh, on smartphones like the HTC Desire, this is not going to work. Similar to the Nexus S or earlier versions of the Sony Ericsson X10. So now you see I've been hit. I have to look from where I'm shot and again you see the controls are not that good. Uh, when you have played Army Sniper, Army Sniper has a lot of, has really really good controls, a lot of, a lot better than this game actually has. As you might see that my Army Sniper skills have been a lot of better than my skills in this game. So I've played this enemy, someone else, okay now. I've made this job. Once again, 
Um, the long time motivation of this game is not there. Um, you get notifications in your notifications bar if there is a new job. Basically, the game just sends out a notification every six hours to remind you that you should uh, come back to the game. Um, the game mechanics are always the same. You always have the same areas where you have to shoot people, then you have to shoot them, so it gets boring after a while. You see this is the map. So let's see... Okay, I have to go to the safe house. This is the safe house. Here I could change my secondary weapon and now it is the handgun. So I go back and I go back and I'll show you another mission and after this mission you have seen all game places there are in this game. You hear the music is again the same as before. Bad medicine, I have to kill him. And we'll see. Okay, you see it's the same territory we have seen. Or is it? Yes, it is. The same territory we have been the last time. There are three or four of those territories. It's always the same. Again, the controls are not that responsive. The graphics are nice. Uh, the long-term motivation is nearly zero because um, it's always the same mechanics. The mechanics are not that good. Um, but if you want to have a game with great graphics just to look how good your Android device can handle these graphics, you should download the game, but with a download of over 200 megabytes. And the minus points we found out I can only recommend this game to genre fans and not to everyone else. If you have some money you want to spend, you should spend it on other games. Um, you can download this game for free, but to gain all the items you have to pay them by our in-app payment. Uh, I can show you, uh, basically, I have to leave this mission. Yes, I want to forfeit. Uh, I'll show you the in-app payment um, before we end this review. As you can see, a lot of loading screens. Okay, yeah, yeah, daily bonus. You get a daily bonus for visiting the game again. So, it looks nice, but yeah, it really isn't. So I go to the store, and there you can see I could buy $3,000. And it says wait, and now the in-app payment goes on. We could look how expensive it is and 31,000 contract dollars plus 5 euros so I'll guess that if you want to play this game for a long time you have to pay 5 to 10 euros a month if you want to um, pay those um, credits you can play it longer but it's completely your decision I wouldn't uh, buy it because the game isn't that much fun. Hopefully with some updates there will be more game mechanics than there at the moment. Um, okay, so this was our review of Contract Killer. We'll see it again in a few days and hopefully you'll have fun playing the game or playing some other games. See you soon.